Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. Welcome to today. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm just going to do a brief hello and just encourage you and strengthen you in the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me just grab my God's Firewall session to a house of prayer book. Hold on one second. So, hey, Lisa Tenney. So, I will be doing teachings for the month of February on God's Firewall School of the Prophets, a house of prayer. So, order it off Amazon and get ready to take amazing notes. I cannot wait to see what Holy Spirit's going to do. And so, as you come on, be expectant, be hopeful. God is going to strengthen and encourage you. And again, I'm just going to be on for a brief moment because I have got an appointment to get to. And I've got to be there at 830 this morning. And oh my goodness, if you haven't watched yesterday's broadcast, you need to watch it. It is whatever you fear will own you. Hey, Tina. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Deborah. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. So we only want to have the fear of the Lord. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge. That's what Proverbs says. That's what we want. And I am just beyond excited in this hour as God is having us cleanse our garments. And listen, there is Romans 8, 1. Therefore, now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. And saints, I can tell you that I have been trembling with both the fear of the Lord and excitement about revival. And I thank God. He is merciful. He is just. He is gracious. And he is going to cause us to abound in such hope as we prepare for what is to come. And that is a visitation of the Lord. And we want to be found faithful, ready, like those wise virgins in Matthew 25 with our lamps all the way full. Amen. That's what we want to be in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so... I want to read <clears throat> verses 1 through 4, or 6, or 7, or 8, or 9, or 10. God's Word is too awesome. How can you not read it all, right? <laughs> I mean, oh my goodness. We Good morning, Dina. Hey, Tanya. We have got to just be hyper-passionate about the Word of God. You know, that hyper-passion is the fire of God in you. And God keeps stirring me with such expectancy that we're going to have revival as in the time of Wells. And the difference between that revival and the Shantung revival in the 30s, 1930s, and the island of Timor in the 70s is that the revival in Wales shut down the whole area, the whole region. And people a mile away from the church where the presence of God was, people were on their faces. They could not even make it to the church because the power of God was so intense. And even at prisons, the prisoners were on their faces wailing. And the prison wards didn't know what was going on. And so they had to go to the church and ask the pastor what was going on. <clears throat> and this was at the beginning of the revival in Wells. And the the power of Holy Spirit, that conviction hit the whole area. Bars were shut down. Stores were shut down. Businesses were shut down. We are talking about a mass revival. And I really have just an expectation and a hope. And so God, for the month of February, is getting us to go through God's Bible School of the Prophets, Session 2, A House of Prayer. And I will give you an intro to that when I start doing that about what is God's Bible School of the Prophets that God had me start in 2011, which I've written 36 workbooks on. And four of those workbooks have been converted into book form and on Amazon. But today, we're going to read Proverbs 4 out of the Amplified Classic. And saints, let us be exhorted in this. Let us be encouraged by truth. Amen. Verse 1. Hear, my sons, the instruction of a father, and pay attention in order to gain and to know intelligent discernment, comprehension, 
and interpretation of spiritual matters. For I give you good doctrine, what is to be received, and do not forsake my teaching. When I, Solomon, was a son with my father, David, tender, and the only son in the sight of my mother, Bathsheba, he taught me and said to me, let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live Get skillful and godly wisdom. Get understanding, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation. Do not forget and do not turn back from the words of my mouth. Forsake not wisdom and she will keep and defend and protect you. Love her and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is get wisdom, skillful and godly wisdom. For skillful and godly wisdom is the principal thing. And with all you have gotten, get understanding, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation. Prize wisdom highly and exalt her and she will exalt and promote you. She will bring you to honor when you embrace her. She will give to your head a wreath of gracefulness, a crown of beauty, and a glory will she deliver to you. Hear, O oh my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life shall be many. I have taught you in the way of skillful and godly wisdom, which is comprehension, insight into the ways and purposes of God. I have led you in the path of uprightness. When you walk, your steps shall not be hampered. Your path shall be clear and open, and when you run, you shall not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her for she is your life. Enter not in the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not go in it. Turn from it and pass on. Verse 18, but the path of the uncompromisingly just and righteous is the light of dawn that shines more and more brighter and clearer until it reaches its full strength and glory in the perfect day to be prepared. Woo, saints of God. This is where we are. And so James 1, 5 through 6 says, If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask for God who gives it liberally. Proverbs 4 shows us with King David, the wisdom of God himself, of the instructions and the commandments and the teachings of God, just like Joshua 1, 7 and 8, where God told Joshua to meditate on his word day and night, and then he will have good success and he will prosper. Saints, where you have felt like you were stumbling, where you have felt like, oh my, you were falling down, this hour, the Lord wants to encourage you. He is bringing such a quickening to your spirit a hunger and thirst of righteousness for holiness as you are on that Isaiah 35, 8 highway of holiness where there's no unclean thing. There's no beast. It is only for the redeemed of the Lord and saints. God is going to accelerate us in the comprehension of wisdom to know and see the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. So as we go forward into the month of February, I'm going to unpack a house of prayer in this particular teaching that God gave me for God's firewall school, of the prophets. And God is just going to give us such a hunger and thirst of righteousness, a grace for prayer. And we are going to enter godly wisdom. So today pray Proverbs one through 15, pray it, read it, meditate on it and get ready to be a house of prayer to gain godly wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, Tina. There's Tina. She's Tina Turner's got the book. Tina Freeman. Hey, I love you. Amen, June. Hey, Rosa. Hey, Renee. Hey, Carol. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Jackie. Hey, everybody. Hey, Diana. God bless you all. I will see you tomorrow and be blessed in the Lord and fear nothing except for God alone. For he shall be a sanctuary to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I love you.